To start drawing with charcoal, you need three things and nothing else. Firstly, you need some charcoal. Uh, these are willow charcoal sticks. Um, that's the, the box and the brand I use. That's the charcoal stick. Uh, so that's a vine charcoal. Uh, it's one made from wood. You can also get compressed charcoal. I'm not going to use that today, um, but you can get compressed charcoal sticks or pencils. They look a little bit like that. Um, and they work pretty much the same way. The other thing you'll need is an eraser, and I highly recommend getting a kneadable eraser. Uh, this, um, this one's quite used. Uh, it's quite a dark colour. When they come fresh, they're a little bit lighter, but you can use these for a long time and you just, you knead it into the shape you need, no pun intended, uh, the shape you want uh, to erase. So if I get a nice fine point on the end there, I can erase a nice fine um, line or fine detail. Um, or you can erase large areas just like that. Uh, so piece of charcoal and eraser. And the last thing is something to draw on. Uh, I'm actually on the, the surface here. This is a piece of newsprint. Uh, it's nice, cheap, affordable. You can buy it pretty much any art store, big box art store. Um, you can also use a brown paper bag. Use the rough side if there is a rough and a smooth side. Uh, you can use watercolor paper, charcoal paper, pastel paper, um, anything that has a little bit of tooth to it. You can charcoal on sketch paper, but it doesn't work desperately well. So uh, this is the best place to start. Just a piece of charcoal, a kneadable eraser, and something to draw on. I'm going to draw a pumpkin. Um, some of you, if you know me on Beyond the Brushes, some of you will know what I'm drawing. Um, so I'm going to start just by filling in the shadow shapes with the charcoal on its side. And this is going to be very rough, uh, but I'll just get some shadows in there. And I'm um, holding this flat to the paper, just letting it make a quick uh, mark. So that's my shadow detail. Um, then when I've got those shadows in, then I'm going to pick up and start doing a bit more of the fine details. So um, let's just sketch my shape out there. Um, now I'll get a few lines in just to indicate uh, the shape I'm making. And that comes around there. So just very lightly scrub in my shadow areas. And uh, a little dark on the bottom, so I'm being quite quick with this. I'm not really uh, taking a lot of time with it. And I'm not being terribly precise. Uh, but I want to get my shadows in first. And then just build up the the depth of value. And just a few details around here. A little rough, but that's okay. So I've got my basic sketch in. The next thing I want to do is refine it a little bit. It's a little rough, but 
Um, so I'm just going to go back into the shadow areas and really um, darken them up. Uh, I'm, I'm not working with chalk today, so I'm not going to lighten anything. This is just charcoal. Uh, the only way I'm going to lighten is with my eraser. So I've got my dark marks in, I'll just put the shadow in there. Oh, I realised I'm a little off to the side there. Uh, and now I'm going to go in with my kneadable eraser and get my highlights. So I'll use this to define a lot of the shape. It's a bit quick and rough already, that's fine. I'm just using my finger to smooth out some of those um, areas where uh, I think it needs to be blended a little bit more. I've got too much dark down, but I want, don't want to take it all the way. And just blend that out a little bit. Blend that down a little bit. I've got a very light area there. So I'm just lifting the bits I don't want. Detailing the bits I do want. And it's pretty close to where I want it. So I'm not going to do too much more to that. I could go back in and add a ton more detail. Um, I don't feel like I need to, but I'm just going to go back over quickly and emphasize some of the shadows that I maybe didn't quite hit properly the first time. Um, so there's a lot of push and pull with charcoal. Uh, there's a line wrong there. I'm just going to go in and pick that out. And a little bit of shadow there. That's feeling better. So just Pushing and pulling, adding and subtracting where it's appropriate. And that is basically my finished piece. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to add them below. And uh, have fun.